Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to my channel. In this channel, I basically do some photography gear reviews, tips and tricks, and sometimes like what we're doing now, a live shoot and a live demo, okay? So we are here in Studio Namu. It's a studio in the Philippines wherein you can find a lot of thematic backgrounds. And this area, this makeup area, is something that caught our fancy. So we will be shooting here today. Our makeup artist, Gold, is right behind me. She's doing the setup. She's basically just putting some makeup there so that it more, looks more realistic. And we will have our subject maybe somewhere here, but we'll see how the shoot goes eventually. But that's a concept. Now, the gear that I'll be using today is a Sony A7R Mark III. This is my favorite Sony camera to date. I don't know if it's going to be the Mark IV in the future, but as of now, for me, this is the best photo camera that Sony has produced. But I have tried the Mark IV and it's really fantastic. If you want to see my review on that, I'll post a link below. Now, the flash units that I'll be using is this one. It's a F45RM. I'll be using two. The F45RMs are Sony's flash triggers that have radio receivers built in and they are controlled wirelessly using this one. This is the Sony Remote Commander. The, this Sony, uh, sorry, the Sony F45RM already has a mag grip installed and it's on a mag shoe because eventually I might use this modifier. Oh, there, go, go ahead, go. We will use this modifier the mag snoot, which I can just snap on because as, as the name says, it's mag mod, so everything is connected via magnet. The mag snoot will give us um, directional light, a very precise directional light, which we might eventually need for a space this small. But at the same time, I also might use this one, a mag grid. If the mag snoot is too small, this one's a little bit wider. If I want to make it a little bit wider and softer, I would put the mag spear. But I don't think I'm going to be using the mag spear without the grid today because of the restrictions of space because I want to be able to control my light because it is very essential for me that when I do light, every single area or every single point that I want to light, I want it precise. I don't like um, things just going out of whack. I want everything controlled. Okay, so let's get going and let's start to shoot. All right. Okay. So first thing that I do is I have to dial in the exposure. So I want the light coming naturally from here, there. So directional this way, yeah. Okay, so I dialed in my exposure. If you can see, I'll show you guys. Look at my exposure. Okay, can you see it? I'm underexposed by about two stops. By underexposing by two stops, I'm basically putting her in shadow, but Again, I like shooting by focusing by light. So now, by doing that, RP, can you make that, that flash higher? Take it out of frame, yeah? Then point it towards her. Let's take a test shot. Oh, wow. There we go. We're getting more light on her now. But the light of that one is a different color. Can I have a gel filter for that one? Let's take some test shots without the flash. Let's turn it off. This is how it looks without flash. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a flash right to her face, just so that she pops out. Put it there. Nice. And then RP, face it towards her a little. You know what, you can remove this one. You don't, we, this is not gonna be in the shot anyway. All right, let's see. Take a test shot while Mid Gold is doing the makeup. That's nice, actually Gold, do that. That'll be pretty cool for you. Take out the diffuser and make it into a snoot. Na lang. But gel still. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's it. So, guys, underexposing the ambient by about two stops. There. Look at that. So, by, over, by underexposing the scene, you're able to create that nice halo. Then I added another light on her face. You know, another option would be to actually pop the flash towards the glass, so we're gonna see, but this time I popped the flash towards her so that she's the one that's properly illuminated there. Okay, 
RP, can I have, can I test pop the glass, uh, pop the flash towards the glass? I want to see how that's going to look like. Just out of curiosity, but aiming towards her. Actually, if we're going to do that, maybe we could use, now we'll shift back to the grid and spear. There. So now that the flash is hidden here, higher RP, please. Okay. Okay, Vanessa, can you twist your body the other way? The, no, the other way around. There, yes. Okay, let's take that shot. Let's see, let's take a wide shot. RP, can you face it towards her a little bit more? Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, look at that. You see, lighting is not about overpowering everything. Lighting is about just add, even just adding that slight fill will create an image. I'll show you. This is the how it looks without flash. This is how it looks without flash. It's already beautiful, right? But just adding that slight pop, that's a difference. So it takes that much effort. Look at it, Gold. From here, this is your normal shot. Mm -hmm. Then if you add that flash. Mm -hmm. It just gives that, it gives that, it just makes it... Dimension. Yeah, it gives that dimension that you're, that you're looking for. Very nice. Okay, cool, perfect. So, that's how simple it was. One layout like that, all you have to do sometimes, you don't really need um, to use your your flash as your main light. It could just be a kicker light or just a fill light, just to be able to give you that dimension of the images that you want. Okay, so we ended up using the 1F45RM, uh, a gel, the mag grid, the mag gel, the mag grid, and the mag spear. And it's also all mounted on this one, which is the mag shoe. And it just went around and basically until we got the shot that we want. So thank you very much again, Vanessa. I hope you enjoyed this very short portrait session of yourself. You. And then don't forget again to watch Vanessa's videos on YouTube, fantastic singer and fantastic trombone artist. And don't forget to subscribe to Jiggy Alejandrino and to my channel. And if you could follow me on Instagram, Jiggy Alejandrino and our makeup artist, Makeup by Gold. All right, she did such an amazing job, right? Okay, till the next video.